Oh, I sure am hungry, but I don't want to eat the same thing every meal, every day. You know, we like to have a variety of different foods, and so do our fish. As you can see here, I feed my fish a variety of different foods. Uh, I don't like to give them the same thing every time. I like to give them, you know, a choices of uh, different things, you know, same as us. We like to eat, you know, different things, steaks or burgers or you know, fish or whatever. Uh, and I'm always looking for different types of food that will help give that variety of food to my fish. I'm gonna try a couple of different types of foods uh, for my fish. This one here is a natural color enhancing flakes plus garlic, and garlic's supposed to be a flavor enhancer for fish. We'll see, this is New Life Spectrum Optimum Flakes. Uh, freshwater and, and marine flakes. Uh, it's got some pictures of some freshwater fish and marine fish. This is supposed to be a really good food. The way you can tell a good food and not good food is obviously by the ingredients, right? So we're going to take a look at the ingredients. I'm going to feed them this one, this New Life Spectrum, as well as the Fluval. I like the, I like the brand Fluval. Fluval color enhancing flakes okay this is the color max formula daily nutrition so we're going to try a couple different uh, foods out on the, on the fish today and we'll see how that uh, goes you guys are familiar with some of the foods that i've already fed in a couple of different videos I, i'll put some links in the description below and i'll put some links uh, with this stuff too but let's first uh, look and see how the fish like it so like I said before, the way you can tell a good food is by the ingredients. So let's see what the New Life Spectrum Optimum Flakes has in it. The uh, way to tell what's in the food is the order of the ingredients. So the ingredients that are listed first are the ingredients that are mostly in here. So if the first, you know, the first ingredient in this is whole Antarctic krill, which is a kind of a, a shrimp, I'm thinking. And then giant squid, so we're going for uh, some krill and some squid. Whole wheat flour, uh, whole Manhattan, Manhattan fish, so fish. Garlic, omega-3 fish oil, seaweed, ulva seaweed, chlorella seaweed, wakami seaweed, kelp, so there's like four different kinds of seaweeds in here, some ginger, spirulina, different kind of green, marigold, uh, so this looks like it has some uh, good uh, ingredients in here. So we'll take a look and see how the fish like it. That is of course the ultimate test, but this seems like it's got a good amount of nutrients in here, 40% protein, 9% fat, 8% fiber, 10% moisture, it's got some vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E, so let's check it out. And I have not fed these two products to my fish. You'll be the first ones to see how they like it or not. If they don't, you won't be watching this video. So let's open this. Brand new. I've not tested this out yet. Okay, so the flakes look greenish. They're all green. It, it, I don't know if you can tell, but that's all green. So let's go ahead and bring this to the, uh, to the fish tank. And I'm going to feed this to all my fish and let's take a look and see how they like it or not. All right, let's have a look here. We'll go into the main tank here. Got some, uh, so got that. Then I'll show you the ingredients here that I just read off. Once you get to the part where you can't pronounce the words, then that's uh, pretty much where I stopped reading. So we've got some guppies, some neons, corys, mono shrimp, ghost shrimp, little babies, baby baby guppies. So we've got a good variety of different type of fish and creatures in here. So we'll go ahead and there's the Siamese algae eater. We'll go ahead and grab a pinch or two. Let's see, and these are big old flakes, so we're gonna crunch them up a little bit. These are huge flakes, as a matter of fact, wow. So I'm just gonna take a few, 
crunch them up in here and see how they like it. Okay, the guppies are going after it. Guppies are liking it, looks like. Let's take a look here. All right. Neons, oh, neons like it. Oh yeah, neons definitely like it. Uh, the Siamese alligator likes it, okay. So we never want to pollute the tank. Let's see here. Guppy, 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 guppy. All right, let's look. Okay. So we're not letting any of this stuff drop to the bottom. There's the uh, Amano shrimp here. And if it does get to the bottom, it's no big deal because we have the quarries down there to take care of that. Okay, so it looks like this is a pretty good hit so far. Let's go ahead and put in some more. Okay, so I crumbled that up there real good. And the general rule is to feed them as much as they can eat in about a minute. The the you know you'll see, you'll read a lot that on the fish containers that say feed three times a day, whatever for until they can eat and as much as they can eat in two minutes but I found and you can experiment with this you know I found that two minutes is a bit long but in a couple of times a day is fine one time a day is fine but I think three times a day might be a little overkill but what does this food say this food says feed twice daily the portion should be eaten in one minute or less do not overfeed okay that's good advice twice a day is fine you'll see in my previous videos that I say once a day which is fine too Look at that, they, they actually love this food. Okay, moving over to this tank here. We'll take a look. Okay, so that, oh, you'll move over back to that one. See that ghost shrimp back there? He just snatched that. See him with the, oh yeah. He just grabbed that flake and snuck back in the back. So definitely that is a winner for that tank. Let's see over here. See if the beta will like this fish food here. So we're gonna crunch this up a little bit. All right, Neon's going after it. Neon's like it. Molly, oh, Molly is just tearing up. Platy, Platy looks like he's liking it. Okay. And there's another Siamese alligator in that tank. All right, let's feed him some more. Go shrimp is trying to get him something. Do a little bit more. I'm trying to crunch it up a little bit. All right, look at that, huh? Get a wider view. Grammy likes it. There's a big piece right there. Oh, he just sucked it down. So he's definitely into that. We'll give them a little bit of room in their tummies for this other food. Hopefully they'll like this other food too. So I'm not gonna feed them the full amount. Um, looks like that's a winner. Oh yeah, they're going after that. Definitely. Definitely. And there's that ghost shrimp. Oh, oh, and he snatched that. Did y'all see that? He just snatched that piece right there. And he was, he was moving around, trying to get him. And I think that the ghost shrimp is, I'm, I'm starting to, to wonder if they're the ones that are biting on my guppy's tails or not. But uh, we will see, because they're pretty fast and pretty aggressive sometimes, but we'll see. So that was that food there. Let's see if we have any success over here Oops. with this. I'm going to just take a flake and just see if Mr. Beta likes that. He's taking it. Let's see real good here. I want to see because this dude is pretty picky sometimes. And if he does need it, oh yeah, he's taking it. He is definitely taking it. Let's see. Yep. Yeah. It's 
was going to say, if he doesn't eat it, the quarry's down below will eat it. But, oh yeah. He is definitely, definitely, definitely liking it. So I think we have, I'm going to say that this is a winner here. Not only for betas, but for most community freshwater fish. Don't have any saltwater fish at the at the meantime but uh, all the fish so far seem to like it yeah definitely check that out he's awesome he loves that looks like the quarries are going after what's falling to the bottom and I think that I'm just going to I think I've put enough in there for him to be full for today so I'm not going to try to feed him that other brand yet I'll do that I think I might do that in a separate video maybe I don't know but yeah he is liking this real good oh yeah he's he's into it if this dude likes it then chances are most most fish will like it because this dude's pretty picky But yeah, some of the other fish food that I feed, primarily the Omega-1, Freshwater Flakes, Super Color Flakes, Beta Flakes for the Betas, the Beta beta Bites, Bug Bites, Blood Worms, uh, Viber Bites, the Beta Pellets, Shrimp Granules for my shrimps, and the Bug Bite Bottom Feeders for the Corys and the other bottom feeders. So I think that, uh, well, you know what let's try the other food let's go ahead and do it what the heck all right let's try that so let's put that food up and i'm going to say that that food is a winner we will make that a and i'll try this on the pond too outside to see if the i'm sure the goldfish will like it and and the guppies in there if the guppies in here like it the guppies out there will like it so we'll put that up the next food on the list is the Fluval Color Max Daily Nutrition. This food has in it krill, so another krill based food, herring meal, shrimp meal, wheat, dried potato, garlic for the flavor enhancer, and also garlic is a natural antibiotic from what I understand. I'm not sure, so I'm not a doctor or nothing, so don't take my word for it, but that's what I think dried pea, dried kelp, so it's got a little bit of uh, green in there, a fish oil, and then some words that I can't pronounce, like a thin, uh, preservatives and stuff. So let's go ahead and give this a shot here. All right, this is not, not a grain-based food. As a matter of fact, this food looks rather red. Maybe red krill, red herring, I'm not sure. But uh, it looks pretty red to me. So let's take a look and see whether the fish like it or not. So let's start off. I think beta's pretty full, but we'll give a few flakes in here anyway. And if he doesn't eat it. Let's see here. Oh, he munched down on that. If he doesn't eat it, then the quarries will eat it. But yeah, he took that down pretty fast. There's still some flakes from the other one, so we'll leave that there. We don't want to overfeed, that's for sure. Never, never overfeed. But uh, those guys down there, they're doing good. Yeah, he looks full right now. As much as you can feed in a minute. Let's see what this says. This says uh, directions here, feeding instructions. as much as a fish can take in two minutes two or three times daily so you know two minutes might be a little much who knows but we'll see so we're gonna take a pinch of that put it in this tank here let's see what happens all right you know it seems like the guppies will eat anything but they love this food so that's a good sign That's a good sign. Look at that. Oh, they're going after this. They're going after this. 
Neons like it, guppies like it. As far as my experience, Fluval has some good quality uh, products, so I'm not surprised that the food that they make is good as well. So I'll keep feeding this, and if, uh, you know, I've fed, fed the other food before this, but still, they're, they're tearing it up. So I'll keep on evaluating this food. Looks like they're a little full, so I'm not gonna try and feed any more. But looks like they're eating it. So tomorrow I will feed this food first and see. Okay, let's try this other tank here. This other tank here. Okay, let's see. Yep, yeah. everybody's eating it. There goes the platy, the black molly, neons. Oh, and here's the pygmy quarries. The pygmy quarries. See that dude there? Pygmy quarries starting to go after it. The beta. Let's see beta. Oh, you can hear him smacking on it. Oh, yeah. Grommy will eat anything. I'm not too worried about Grommy. A beta back there. I saw him take a bite of it. And that is that. They, they ate that pretty quick. It looks like. I don't know if that was a minute or... Two. We'll go ahead and feed them a little bit more. So there's some floating up there. If it does get to the bottom, some of it, we don't want most of it to get to the bottom, right? We don't want to overfeed. Definitely not. That's always the biggest problem in aquariums is overfeeding. So we want to have some bottom feeders. In this tank, the bottom feeders are the shrimps. There's those guys there. There's the ghost shrimp there. There's the mono there. There's ghost shrimp there. Here's the mono. He's cool. He's got that gold stripe down his back. There's the ghost shrimp. They're all wanting some of this. The uh, neons, they are liking it. Of course, I fed that other food first, and I think they're kind of full, but uh, we're not gonna feed any more. There's the pygmy quarry. See, that pygmy quarry is pretty unique because he's got that, uh, that bent tail. I think that's a defect, deformation. But I still got him because I, I thought he was cool looking. And I've got some friends of his too around here somewhere. They're out and about somewhere. I saw them earlier today, but that's a good thing about these quarries, these pygmy quarries. They're, they're always moving around. And that big ghost shrimp back there, he's looking for some of that food. There's some mono shrimp here. These ghost shrimp down there. So we've got plenty of bottom feeders here today. I think that's a hit too. So here's the uh, beta. Oh, there he goes hiding again. It's always good to give betas plenty of hiding spots. But it looks like he's hunting around for some food. And he likes it. So we'll say that's a winner too. So definitely the two foods for today. And sometimes you get winners and sometimes you don't. You know, like I said, sometimes you get winners, sometimes you don't. This food here, the flu ball. I'll put a link in the description below. Color Max. And I'll put a link up here. Uh, tropicalfishguide.com slash color max. And that'll link up to the flu ball because I'm pretty sure that the flu ball is good food. And then I'll put a link up here to this I, I know for sure and this is the first one I fed so they started picking out on this they weren't expecting I don't usually feed them um, two foods in one time but I just wanted to check it out so tropicalfishguy.com slash new life how about that new life uh, for this new life spectrum so you know like I said before we don't like eating the same food every day your fish don't like eating the same food every day they, we will if we have to, they will if they have to, but the point is to give them a varied diet. I'll put some of those links down in the description below too. 
But uh, keep your fish happy, keep them fed different types of foods, and you know, every, everybody will be happy. You'll be happy, they'll be happy, well, I'll be happy. So give me a like, comment, share this thing. I mean, I know a lot of fish keepers, they only feed one food, and I'm like, why? Yeah, I mean, you know, I think fish will like a variety. Comment, let me know what you're feeding your fish, the different types of food that your fish are eating, because I would definitely like to know. I, I would uh, always like to give my fish some, some options. And if you want to send your pics to me, send them at pics at tropicalfishguy.com. I'll give you shout outs and stuff. Appreciate you watching. Thank you very much. Without you, I'm not here. Happy fish keeping. Peace.